Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of My DeFi Pet. Today we are taking a look at a post update comparison of the different aura types. So yellow, blue, and red. And we're gonna be taking about how much impact does that have on some of the characters, that we're, we're, some of the pets that you'll get. Uh, first results look like it's it's pretty huge. Um, and what I wanted to see with it is whether it fit the kind of rare is second best to normal, non-aura, and then whether epic is red and then whether a legendary is yellow, because you'd expect the yellow to be the strongest and blue to be the weakest. So we're gonna be taking a look at that. If you are interested in more DeFi pet news, make sure to hit subscribe and, and keep up to date with the future videos by hitting that notification bell. Let's get into it. Right, so what I did was I took all my Aura pets at level 10 and also compared them with other people's on level 10. Now, I, I was only able to do that by going on Telegraph, searching through images and seeing people who had posted a level 10 Aura type. So we've not got a huge sample, which is where I do need a little bit of help from you guys. If you do have Aura pets that are level 10, doesn't matter if they're evolved or not, please send me an image of it to my email address, which is in the in the description down below. Uh, it'll just help us get a bigger sample, but we do have some early results based on what we've got so far. Um, right, so if you haven't seen the image, so this is the image where they've posted how normal is gonna be likely non-aura, rare, blue, and then epic and legendary. Legendary is yellow, but epic is purple. Yeah, we don't have a purple aura, we have a red aura. So it's not, it's a bit ambiguous at this stage whether that is how it's going to work. But I figured that, you know, it makes sense how it would work based on the fact that we have got three different types of auras and I've never seen an, another, another, another color. Um, right. So what I did was I did the usual, put it all into an Excel document. So I'll switch you over to Firefox so you guys can see this. And um, we have, so if you haven't seen this, this is the list from a previous video where we looked, worked out the comparison between level one and level 10 of each type to see how much they increased. Because whether we knew that based on the silver output, winged pupper increases at a higher rate than Rudolph because Rudolph can start at lower level of silver. So for example, this one starts at silver production of 511. Level 10, it goes up to 1029, which is a two point with zero one multiplier in terms of silver production per hour. And then we see winged pupper starts at 482, so less than Rudolph here, uh, and finishes way higher on 1130 multiplier of 2.34. And we worked that out for every single stat to see how it compared. Um, and it looks like they do have different multipliers for each of the things, so attack, HP, critical and speed um, and that, that makes a big difference in terms of what you're going to get at level 10 but potentially it's going to make an even bigger difference as you start to level them up beyond that so worth looking at if you haven't already seen this this will be accessible in the description below I'll put a link to it it's a shared drive so if you do want to add anything to it um, you know if you do want to add any of your aura pets just go to 34 or if you would add in one to Rudolph you just click insert row and that'll create a new row that you can put in their aura type. So rare um, is blue. We're going epic red and yellow is legendary. If we're going off that, then you take the HP attack critical speed and then total. Uh, if you want to work it out quickly, you can just put equals sum open brackets and then just drag across and it will work out what it is across there. Or you can just drag down from there and it'll copy the uh, the the formulation from there. Uh, and then we've got silver production per hour. I didn't do this for every single one. I was more concerned with the stats because what I want to do is see which are gonna be the best in battles. Right, at level 10, compared to Rudolph, level 10, a legendary, so a yellow type, came out at 715 HP, so 100 more. Attack was an extra 29, and the critical was 13, which is an extra four points on the critical, and the speed came out as 68. So a huge difference between that type and level 10. And we saw that through every single type that I came up with. So we had actually four Adonis epics to compare here. 
and they come out with slightly better HP, slightly better um, stats on attack, slightly better, not as big a jump from Rudolph on critical and then um, on speed, interesting enough, the one that I compared came out as 52 and they came out as lower, which is a little bit confusing. So they must have started a lot lower on speed. It's weird that it's on every single one. I must have just picked an Adonis with really good speed to compare for that one. Um, but yeah, we can see that they're generally higher on each of the stats. Tigra, again, higher stats. We've got 393 going up to as high as 625. Um, health, 122 to 145. Big additions to crit. Going to make a huge impact on your attack if you do hit a crit attack um, and we saw no increase in speed on rare actually must have started lower again and uh, the same on speed so we compared that across all of them and so what we really wanted to see is did rare was rare less effective than epic and was epic less effective than legendary um, and the only real comparison we got that on was winged pupper so we did have a level 10 rare, epic, and the legendary. Now, rare was 1049, which was better than a non-aura. Um, we got 1077 on the epic, but the legendary came out as 1063. Um, so obviously lower than, than the epic. And rare kind of followed suit again, 122 going up to 132, but then legendary was less. Crit, same, 13, then 16, better than non-aura, but then down for legendary. And although the only thing that didn't match was the fact that on speed it went 90-90, then 92 was put into the legendary type. So it was better on that. When we compare a spike epic versus a rare, we can see that this rare has 1309, but this epic has 1284. So again, there's no no difference in, you know, the, the epic is not coming out better. And that's the same for every other stat that it had. Whereas rare, we see higher. So it doesn't seem like there's a consistency between, at the moment, between rare, epic, and legendary and what they come out as following that legendary is the best that you can get in terms of damage output. But we need a bigger sample. We need more comparisons at level 10. So if you have a level 10, do send it to me and I, I will input the data or you can input the data yourself um, via the shared drive. Aside from all that, what it does look like is that if you have an aura pet, your stats are gonna be almost significantly better than a non-aura. So a huge increase. I mean, on this Rudolph, it goes from 40 to 69 attack and remember, the multiplier is higher it's gonna that difference is gonna get bigger so we're gonna see a bigger difference between the attack stat and the our aura attack stat as the levels start to increase critical going up from 9 to 13 almost a 1.5 difference on that so aura pets are the way to go for getting the best stats at the moment um, crowns don't seem to impact on it from what I've seen so far. I haven't done a direct comparison with them in a document like this, but it looks like their stats are very similar to the non-aura types. If you've got a non-aura type, uh, if you've got an aura type and a crown, that's going to be the best combination. If you don't know what crowns do at the moment, is obviously they're like elements. So we've got fire, snow, um, looks like one's wind. I'm saying the one's toxic, um, like toxic poison type, and they will have an extra skill, it looks like. So if you go to your pets at the moment, if we switch back, if you go to your pets, following the update, we had the skills put in the top right hand corner. Um, at the moment, unknown, no skill. But it looks like based on, I'll show this image now, um, 
it looks like we're going to be getting a special skill when you've got a crown pet. Obviously, we don't have a crown on them. If you're new to the game, the crown pets are basically the ones that do have an element type. Uh, but elemental pets will have a, an extra special skill. Now, that could be really powerful. It could do 150% of the normal skill, which would mean that it would be comparable in, in quality with the, with the aura pets. But we don't know that yet. As soon as we have that information, of course, I'll do my best to keep you up to date with it. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. All in all, conclusion is that Aura Pets are better. And at the moment, it's a bit too early to say whether the different types, with whether one is better than the other. But early signs do suggest like maybe a slight difference in that I think more of them, it was more likely that the rare was not as good as the epic. Um, but it's just epic and legendary didn't we? yeah we need more we need more data so send those pictures in okay well that's all for this one if you have enjoyed it please leave a like on the video hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content that's all for me see you guys soon